handle magic. <laughs> Hi, my name is Feva, or Faye for short, and today I'm gonna be talking about candle magic. I am a witch, and I'm kind of like a toddler witch. I've dived off the deep end, but I haven't hit the ground yet. Still learning, but I am definitely not a baby witch. I've been a witch for a while, about a year now, though. So. Anyways, I'm gonna be talking about candle magic and how it works for me and my experience with candle magic. Um, little disclaimer, uh, I don't really, I haven't really watched a video on candle magic. I haven't really read anything on candle magic. This is just my experience. This is how I see it work and manifest and things like that. It could totally work in a different way for you or it could work the exact same way for you. So just take it with a grain of salt and Use it as a reference or however you want to get out of this video. Let's just get right into it. The outcome of a candle magic really depends on a couple different things. Number one, the color. <laughs> the color plays a key role in a lot of candle magic. So this candle is for positive vibrations and it's yellow. Yellow is associated with happiness, positivity, all this great shit. So having a yellow candle for positive vibrations is key for me. Also, this candle has frankincense in it. It has a bunch of different aromas that I just associate positivity with. And that, again, like that is a big, big factor for candles. Like, like it has to smell like what it does if that makes sense if you believe that it smells like positivity it will be positivity and then affirmations i also like to do so i'll put a affirmation into this candle this one comes with one but i'll do my own one if i feel like it or i'll do the, the exact one but i just put my intention into the candle and honestly it always works like whenever i need positivity in the room like i always feel better whenever i light the candle i think they're called jar candles and they don't smell like anything but uh, they come in a bunch of different colors and the color that you choose is going to affect the outcome. This one is a candle that I did specifically for good mental health and warding off bad things like depression and anxiety that I deal with. So this is just kind of like a candle to stabilize anything. So I kind of write my intention on the candle and it really helps seep in what I want for it to come out. So I wrote good mental health stable and on the back i also wrote no depression and no anxiety and it's not saying that like oh you light the candle your, your depression is gonna go away your anxiety goes away you completely say no depression no anxiety it'll work stronger to ward it off there have been times where i lit this and still had anxiety or depression but it doesn't last as long and that's kind of what the point of this candle is i chose black honestly for a bunch of different reasons one, because I didn't think any of the other colors worked with this. Two, because honestly, depression kind of associated with black. Honestly, it made sense to me to choose this. And three, because black is also associated with protection. And if I want to protect my mind and my mental health, of course, I want to get a black candle. So black definitely felt like the right reason to get this. Each color has a different meaning behind it. So... Say you want to bring love into your life and romance and things like that or if you just want to increase your self-love that would probably be a pink candle because pink is always associated with romance and love and relationships honestly there's a bunch of different ways you can choose the color of your candle but it really depends on your personal opinions beliefs and how you view different colors and then I'm not gonna show you all the colors because you know the rainbow, but I have a collection of different chakra candles. I just bought it in like a bundle and I didn't really put any affirmation into it. The color was really what made it a chakra candle and the fact that I said there was a chakra candle, I knew there were chakra candles, I knew it was gonna align my chakras. So I think the color for chakra candles are really important and I don't use them all the time. I only use them when like I feel the inclination to or when I really want to light like all my candles and like have a fucking like night. Just be like, yes. And they don't smell like anything. But just, they're just the colors that make them really the chakra candle. That's how I use candle magic. I don't know if that video was like all over the place. So I'm just going to try to wrap it up real quickly and just kind of 
lay down the basics. These are just aspects that can affect it, but they don't always have to. The color case plays a key part in my practice of candle magic because it sets off a tone and a vibration, and it really helps me get into the mindset of manifesting really what I want and getting off that energy. Two, the smell can really do it for you. You know, if you have a good smell and it smells like what you want, <laughs> and I know that sounds weird, but like if it does, then like, it works like my positive energy candle smells warm and fuzzy and kind and happy and like positive like it just it's so weird like if you see it as positive or whatever you want to manifest and like it'll work even better <laughs> three the affirmation or manifestation that you put into your candle so for example putting words on it or putting just like imagining your affirmation going into the candle that's kind of like the basics of how I view candle magic and how I work with it. Again, I am not an expert. This is just me sharing the wisdom that I have to you and passing it on and seeing if you take anything from it. If you do, great. If you don't, fine. <laughs> you know, go look for another video. But yeah, that's just kind of what I had to say. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my other video. I did a video on Mabon. Um, I know Mabon's already passed since I uploaded it, but it'd be really nice if you checked it out and see what I did <laughs> for Mabon. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs>